female artists were removed from history through stolen art, misattribution and purposeful erasure. Here are five female artists I think you should know about. Alma Thomas was an African-American artist and teacher who is only just now starting to be recognised for her influence in the 20th century. Thomas earned multiple teaching degrees from the University of the District of Columbia, known as Minor Normal School when she went there. She was also the first to graduate from Howard's University's Art Department. These university connections are ones that remained consistent throughout her entire life. Despite the significant segregation and prejudice towards her, Alma Thomas worked hard to achieve success as a female African-American artist. Although she was only recognised in her artistic career after retirement from her 35-year teaching career, she made a name for herself through her colourful abstract paintings. It is heavily debated whether Thomas should be positioned as an expressionist or considered a member of the Washington Colour School. Her artistic style can be described as representational, focusing on creative spirit over race and gender. Thomas strongly believed that artistry and creativity should focus on the beauty and abstraction of colour and should be separated from race and gender. Since her death in 1978, her reputation has only continued to grow. Tina Blau was an Austrian landscape painter during the 19th and 20th century. Her father, who was a doctor, was strongly supportive of her desire to become a successful artist. She took lessons with August Schaefer and Wilhelm Lindenschmidt in Munich during the 60s and 70s. Later in the 70s, she studied and shared a studio with Emil Jacob Schindler, but they broke off their engagement in 1876 due to an argument. After converting from Judaism to the Evangelical Lutheran Church, she married another painter, Heinrich Lang, who specialised in depicting horses and battle scenes. When they moved to Munich in 1889, she began teaching landscape and still life painting at the Munich Women Artists Association. She held her first major exhibition at the Artists Association in 1890, and again in 1893 at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, Illinois. After the death of her husband, Blau travelled in Holland and Italy before establishing a studio and rotund. She later founded a female art school in 1897 with Olga Prager, Rosa Mayreda and Karl Federn, where she taught until 1915. Timoret was an ancient Greek painter. Daughter of the painter Mikon the Younger of Athens, she was said to scorn the duties of women and practice her father's art. Though men have been credited for a lot of the staggering art that came from ancient Greece, Timoret is a female artist we should be sad we lost for a long time. She learned to paint in her father's workshop, becoming known for her painting on wood of Artemis, the goddess of Hunt. At the time, Timoret would have been considered a working professional artist, and her religious tablets would have been commissioned by the Ephesians and exhibited during festivals and rituals in honour of Artemis. It has been written that, in her own time, Timoret was a famous female painter whose virtue, due to her living in antiquity, perhaps has been erased in large part from the memory of humankind. Nonetheless, even until now, it has not been able to take away either her name nor her remarkable craftsmanship. Her portrait of Artemis was, at the time, revered as a rare thing because she was so talented. Christine de Pizan, a Venetian intellectual, noted that Timoret abandoned all the usual tasks of a woman and pursued her father's art. Do you want to know what Timoret's Artemis masterpiece looked like? Well, you can't. Nobody actually knows what it looked like. Unfortunately, it, with many other female masterpieces from antiquity, was lost with time. Gil Curran was born from her mother's decade-long affair with a high-ranking member of the ruling Tokugawa shogun. Born with the name Machi, she was given the art name Gyo Kurin as a child. The name means jewel waves and is likely given to her by her painting teacher. Gyo Kurin is most famous for her painted folded screens, sliding doors, handheld scrolls, hanging scrolls and fans. According to the director of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, it was exceptionally rare for a woman in 18th century Japan to be a painter. However, the female artist and her husband dedicated themselves to art making. The couple lived on very little money and always collaborated on art. During her time, she found success in Kyoto, and she remains a celebrated artist in Japan to this day. Alera Olympio was an architect from Ghana. She built her career quite literally from bricks. To be specific, she used laterite bricks, which were handmade and compressed by a powerful hydraulic press. 
They are known for their distinctive red colour that is created from its natural iron oxide properties. The Western Africa country is filled with laterite, primarily where it is used to form roads. However, Olympia saw its potential for architectural design. She decided to use them as the building blocks for a radical school of architectural design. She stated that, I wanted to be able to do experiments and try things that people hadn't done before in Ghana, and that would develop handcrafting skills and produce a real contemporary African style of architecture. The architect was saddened when she found out architects in Europe would simply sit at a desk and she always wanted to get her hands dirty and help out in the construction. She strongly believed that construction and design were two sides of the same coin. She used her architecture to channel African influences and materials, even relying on local villages to assist in construction. She was quoted, I tried to make sure that the material provides the beauty of the building. I try to make sure that I'm not using any European classical symbols. It is unfortunate how many female artists from history have been erased from our collective memory. I am so happy to be one of the ones trying to rewrite our history to include female artists who helped shape our artistic culture, such as those mentioned in today's video. If you want to learn more about female artists and the quirky stories behind art history in general, then don't forget to like this video so I know you want more just like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching my video.